today we're out for a little bit of a mudlark yeah. on a bottle dump. It's, it's always nice to come back to a, a dump where it's all been freshly dug. Yeah, we have been for a while, I think, yeah. Yeah, for most of them we tend to give it a bit of time before we go back. We're having a, a good old look at that. Yep. See what we can find. Yep. See you on the first find. No, we don't say that. That's not us. That's uh, not us. We, we're we're going to find something new. <laughs> oh, look. Big blue. Big blue bottle. Oh, I see blue one, but unfortunately it's busted on the top. What a shame. An icy blue bottle. Right, there's a cup down here. It's not full, but it has got some something on it so I wanted to see what the picture was because you know I like my pictures and my cups General Sir Red Vase Buller VC Victoria Cross oh look at that oh what a shame that's busted well I'm truly busted that but just trying to get it in a better light for you there you go a nice little military cup there I'm not going to keep that there's a lens there Oh, what's that? What's that? Is that something or nothing? Oh, it's a button thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Fancy teapot. Mick likes a cup of tea, but I think that, is that a little... Oh, it's a little glass, black glass button, like a morning button. Oh, there you go. I wasn't going down for that. I was actually going down for that lens, but it's broken. I won't keep it. It's a, if it was just chipped, I'd keep it. But look, oh, look at that. Well, that was very unexpected. I'll try and get it so you can see the pattern on it a little bit. It's very difficult with these cameras but that oops that is a little beauty and a very very unexpected find that black button little gem and a keeper and there's a lovely vase type thing here let's have a look at it is that, that a teapot would that have been a tea i think it's a teapot bits missing off of it but it would have been a very fancy teapot i'm so sorry that fancy teapot That would have been a quite a fancy teapot, that one there, look. Oh, yeah, mm, yeah. Quite a fancy, that. Fancy oh, just turned it off, and as per usual, just turned my head. I see something there. What's that? Oh, it's just a busted collar stud. Sod. Just a busted collar sod, stud. Oh, my gosh, I can't speak. Busted collar stud. Don't need to keep that. Right, that. Put it in my pocket. Right, what have you, what have you found there, Mick? What have you got? What have you got? Oh. This has been a weekend for pipe oh, bowl. Oh, it has, first. yeah, yeah. Let me get it in this one. There we go. Plain pipe bowl, yep. And a little foot. Oh, Whoops. whoops, way. <laughs> and a little foot, a little leg and foot. Oh, very good. Three. So far, I've got three gems. I've got a glass, black button, and these two off Mick. Super. Okay, Mick said he spotted a marble down here, so. Ooh, ooh. Right, sorry about that. That was. Uh, my elegance of coming down a hill. There you go, I can see it. I spotted it. A white one. Lovely white little marble. Oh, something else mixed. Oh, just the top of a top of a doll's leg. Oh, what a shame. Never mind. I can stay there and that can go in my pocket with the black glass button. Little gems. Just doing a, a side check. And there we go. Sorry, shadow. That's the only thing about it when the sun comes out. There you go. Well, anyway, there. You think you can just about see it there? Cod marble. Well, I've seen quite a few broken cods, sorry, already today, so that's not a surprise. Always a super little find. Cod marble. Right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just continue checking along the sides here. Got to be careful because I need to check the floor before I put my foot down so that I'm not squashing it. What's that round thing there? Oh, it's a modern day lid. But yeah, when you, when you put your feet down, you've just got to check you're not actually stomping anything else into the ground. But yeah, little marble, that was on its way down the hill off the side of the little dugout area there. So that was a good save. All right, I don't think that's a berry. That looks very, very bright. And now I'm closer, it looks like it's definitely not a berry. What is it? I don't know, some sort of bead. I think it's only plastic though, but it's still fine. A little red bead and what I did do I did look up to see what trees were there because if it was a holly more than likely it was going to be um, a holly berry but it's not it's just a I'm going to say that's plastic a plastic little bead oh and as if by magic if I can just find it again I'll just turn around and there is another 
marble club. Oh, is that something? Hang on, hang on, hang on. Is that a little? That's just a piece of glass. I've lost it. Oh, there it is. Here we go, another cod marble. Let me just get that soil off it one sec. With my gloved hand. There you go, cod marble. Oops, sorry, always a super fine. So that's, that's two cod marbles, one clay marble. Super, little gems. Oh, is that a lid? Oh, it is, but it's a busted lid, which is a shame. We don't need busted. Oh, look, pipe bowl that's been stood on. Oh, oh, what a killer. Never mind, we've got millions of pipe bowls. But yeah, that's, oh, that's a slate pencil. That's a slate pencil. That is a super little find. I think I've had slates from here, drawing slates from here as well. What's that orange thing? That nah, nothing. A bit of nothing. Just you just stand here long enough and lots of different things catch your eye. But yeah, slate pencil, we will definitely have you. Let's have a quick look up here. See if we can spot anything. Sometimes things catch your eye and then when you swing back to it it's gone you can't find it again but at very least we've got this slate pencil from that little mound little keeper array of finds here and once again plenty of pipe bowls we've got one two bend down look what we've got here it's uh, interesting it's just uh, the buffalo wee ones whatever you call it got another one there I should let Sarah show you these. Plenty of nice bottles there. If you like bottles. Yeah, I'll let Sarah run through those ones for you. If she could get over here. Another pipe bowl down here. I'm gonna put that with the other ones over there. They can go over there with these ones here. One, two, three, four, five pipe bowls there. Pipe bowls, should I say. Five of them. And here's another pipe bowl. This is like a pipe bowl weekend for us. Never found so many. One, two days we found so many pipe bowls. Unbelievable. But we'll keep that. Nothing really on that one, but hell of a lot of them coming out there. We've always found some nice ones in here actually. Talking about pipe bowls. There's always, we've always found a few nice ones here. I'm going to put this pipe bowl here, which I found it over there, with these ones here. There you go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven pipe bowls. Exciting. There's definitely lots and lots of bottles here. And the nice bottles, nice and clean, good condition, but not for me. And that, for any newbies, is a little like sauce bottle, that one with the burst lip there. But yeah, you've just got to just got to mill around and just keep your eyes absolutely peeled. See these bottles don't interest me, these. What's that one? Scott's emulsion. That's Scott's emulsion, that's the Scott's emulsion. That one, slightly that's aqua, that one's a clear one. So it's two different ones. I mean it'd be nice if you painted them up, did a painting craft. Oh that was that teapot that Mick said was very fancy. Very fancy, it was a bit fancy that one, wasn't it? I'm glad that one's not complete because I would hate to have to take that home, it's huge. <laughs> right, I'm carrying them. Oh, is that? Hey? Seven pipe bowls? Right, I'll be down in a minute, Mick. Down in a minute. Seven pipe bowls? That seems a bit excessive, doesn't it? Right, let's just have a quick look here because it's all that. Oh, it's not full. It's a half. But it's a patterned one. It's a shaped one. Right, Mick assures me seven pipe bowls are down there, so I'm going to look quite carefully as I go but go down to see him. I don't know what that is, it's some sort of washery type thing. Sarah will know what it is, she's uh, knows more about these things than I do. But it's some sort of a uh, washer type thing anyway, I'll show it to her as she gets down here. She's up there at the moment, making her way this way. Let's see what it's over here. What that is. Bottle in the dirt. Oh, on the way down, for, trying to follow his footsteps so I'm not disturbing any of the stuff I want to look at. I can see a stopper look right, and I had one foot there because I got something off him here, didn't I? But look, just between our footsteps, didn't even see it. A glass stopper. Right, so just, I, just got to try and 
go in the, the way that he went because look otherwise I'm going to disturb all this stuff that really needs a good looking at so oops right what's, what's that so as I'm going down I'm just see what that is oh broken do you see something else what's that is that a plant no it's not a plant but it was a seed what is it oh it is might be a seed actually did feel a bit wishy right anyway we can look at this in a bit just let's follow his footsteps down to where he says right am i nearly there yeah, yeah, oh right okay oh i've got to get over this over okay right oh there's another pipe hole oh I picked up, there's already four i think four or five there but i picked them up around here there's another one down there oh right another one down there okay you you, you, you get that yeah oh there's one that's been stood on up there actually yeah. well not by me right okay i'm getting over i'm going towards okay. it oh oh that's ceramic that's ceramic isn't it hmm don't know ceramic collar for something i don't know don't know but we'll keep it because with our little stopper and the little pipe ball that you've collected the gems as we go right nearly there just getting my leg over oh i'm trying to follow your footsteps down mick so yeah. that we don't disturb what we need to look at there yeah i filmed a little bit but i said you'll give a better detail of right okay Okay, well, I'm going. We're on our way, aren't we? We're nearly there. What's that? Nothing. It's a mushroom on a tree. Right. Oh, Ooh, look at all those. Oh, wow. I'd probably do a far more exciting version than you. <laughs> I get too overexcited, don't I? Let's have a look at what we've got. Let's stick our little... What's it's there? I've right, got a few little gems there. Don't let me forget them. Oh, that one's a nice pipe. It's got Dublin on it. And some sort of numbers there, I think. There you, there you go. Add it to our little collection there. This one, oh, what's it? Oh, it's an RAOB pack. Royal Antediluvian, Antediluvian Order of the Buffaloes. That's the buffalo horns there. Not found one of those for a very, very long time. There we go, nice. Ooh, a brown. Have we found a, an, um, an amber one of those before? Oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know if we found an amber one before. Sorry, you're right in the shade. An amber one of those, because we've certainly had it in glass, milk glass, haven't we? We've had it in milk glass, I'm not sure. You might remember, if you've watched lots of your videos, you, you can probably say, oh yes you did, you, you know, 12 months ago you found one, such and such. <laughs> you remember things more than me, let's put it that way. But that is a nice little amber thing that we'll get the cat out. Ooh, it had red cat, what was that red cat that came out of that then? Is it? Ooh. What if it was, ooh, it's red. What is that? Don't know, it's out now. Right, okay. Another pipe bowl, another plain one. It's okay, another plain I'll try and keep it in the sun for you, sorry. I'm not used to this working in the sun business. Oh, that one's a bit gnarly. Keep it anyway. Might as well. It's made it this far, hasn't it? Gosh, our pile's getting quite big. Oh, yeah. one of that. What is it? Oh, and he's just chucked me another pipe bowl. That's a long one, that. That's, that's a bit older. Let me get the stick. Let me get the stick on it. I'm knelt down now I'll never get up oh that's a long one that is older that is older that that is probably 18 something ouch ouch I need knee pads there you go another one sorry in the sunshine plain as you can see let me get you one of those so you can see the difference sometimes you can't tell when you've just got one okay so that one's quite fat that one is quite tall and thin can you see yeah, I think you can see the difference there. Right, we're working our way through. Right, oh, sorry, we're doing the treacle glaze cream pot. Is it full? If it's full, sorry, let me just wipe that off. If it's full, we'll keep it. It is full, so we will keep it. Sorry. Treacle glaze cream pot, I think. Cream pot. Okay, another pipe bell here. Can't have a tire of them. That's probably a Dublin one as well, is it? Oh, no, 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 hang on. Oh, no, it's different. Don't presume. Don't be a presumer. Sorry, let me just... It's a... O'Brien, oh, it's a Brian. Dublin, Brian, Dublin, O'Brien, oh, Dublin. I've got another one. Oh gosh, so spoilt, so spoilt with pipe bowls. Goodness me! Thank you, diggers, for leaving them. <laughs> another one, right? I think that's it for the pipe bowls. Let me just take this bag off my back because I'm absolutely, it's absolutely killing me. Right, one sec. Take that back. I'm, I'm on my knees now. I'm on my knees here. Right, what have we got here with these bottles? Probably not with the bottles. I mean, those are nice little honey jars. I did save them to do 
little I'm gonna put it out my shadow. Did save them to do a little like night light crafting but never I did one I think. Jam pop. I'm gonna be very good. I'm gonna leave that there for somebody else who wants them. What's that? That's a sauce. Oh it's a little no I'm not gonna keep it. There you go. Oh my shadow. Little little bottle in there. Oh that's a nice little stubby stubby bottle. I'll leave the stopper in that because that is a lovely little well a little chunky sort of um, bottle there. Don't know what would have been in that. That's a Waddington's, that's a oh what's Compo, that's a Bento's the cough cure. What's that one? Oh, Waddington, that's another Waddington's. Those are lovely bottles, they really are. And that's nice, you clean it and um I think someone made me one with um I think it was Charlotte actually, I'm not sure. Made me one with B B picture on it. It was lovely, put a little night light in it. Anyway, I'm not gonna keep those. Save those for somebody else who comes along. That is my little pile. In the shade, I'm sorry. My little pile of gems. Uh, excuse my shadow. It's a bit of an older one there. It's been pipe bowl again. It's just pipe bowls everywhere. I'll send that down there with the rest. Bit broken anyway, but would have been like a little little cup that look. It's a shame. What a shame that is. That little bottle there. Another shame. What a shame. There we go. Another one. That's a clean one. This is a, a football one. Seems to be uh, pipe bowls day to day. Oh, there's stuff all down there, but it's way too steep. Wait, God, they've got all the trees down. Like, oh, what's that over there? Oh no, it's a plant. I thought it was marble. <laughs> yeah, it's way too steep. I can't scrabble down there. I don't think. I don't think I can do that. I'll have a quick hop on here. See what's here. See if anything catches my eye. I thought that green. Oh, pipe. Oh, is it a busted one? Oh, it's only half a pipe. Oh, only half a pipe. What a shame. <laughs> But, you know, not that much of a shame because we happen to have... Lo I've had loads of pipe, pipe bowls from here, actually, if you think about it. I, I even remember breaking one here when I was scrabbling down the hill to get a little um, little jar. Do you remember? Scrabbling, and I bent forward. They were in my bum bag. I used to wear a bum bag at the time. And I crushed it. But I had found loads that day. And then I even found another one after, so it didn't feel quite so bad. And I think it was just a plain one like that. But, yeah, this is... This is a place I've found lots and lots of pipe bowls and today is definitely no exception. We also, Mick also found a frozen Charlotte here. But, but uh, let's not get ahead of ourselves. Right, so yeah, there's a bit down there. But, unless I can see it near the top, I am not hurtling myself down there. I thought that was a bit of a doll's head. Right, I'm going to carry on looking. My usual look where I just stand and just move ever so slightly. Oh, have you got something, Mick? Another pipe bowl? Oh, it is? Oh, chuck it over here. Oh, gosh, don't break that one. Oh, kill him if it broke it. <laughs> oh, look at that. Look at that football one. Oh, oh you know what? Have we got, I've got one with people playing football on it. Have we got one like that, though, with the football? I've certainly seen them before, but I can't remember if it was me who found it or somebody else on another video. Mm, I don't know. They're all blown into one. I keep thinking I've found things they haven't. But there you go. Yeah, look, look at that. A oh, football one. That's great. Gosh. Oh, I'll leave him up there hunting. Right, I'm, I'll put that in my bag and I shall carry on doing what I'm doing. There's the end of a the pipe. They're handy to keep if you're going to make one, you know. Oh, I'll tell you what, I might even attach it to that. I might even attach it to that. Why not? He's right there. Make a little short pipe. You put, a, you put a bit of wire through that end, a bit of wire through that end, a bit of clay, and paint it up to match. And there you go, you've got something that looks like a real pipe. Ooh, what's that? Oh, what a shame about that. I've no idea what that would have had in it, but that looks like a super exciting little stoneware. What a pity, what a pity. Some broken cod, we'll check for marbles. Oh, marbles have been uh, extracted from those cod bottles. Right, this was that bottle. Nothing exciting, is it? No, nothing exciting. Cods, lots and lots of cods, so I'm not surprised I found two cod marbles, really. Right, lots of scouring to do. Mix. 
on a winner today. He's, I think he's the champion looker today. What, what can you say? Too much to look at, he's saying, but he's finding all the gems. I'm probably missing a lot of stuff as well. Oh, he thinks he's missing lots. He thinks he's missing lots too. Probably not. I, I always go in his footsteps. Because I found marbles up there where he's been, so there you go. But yeah, Mick so far is the winner. Is the winner on finding things today. Come on, we'll keep looking, see if we can catch up. Alright, here we go. A little bottle, a little tiny bottle. Oh, look at that. Ooh. Oh, that's a little gem. A little cork stoppered bottle I think unless it had a little tiny glass stop no usually if it's got a glass top it'd be, it'd be sort of like ground on the inside sorry a bit close I was, that's because I'm trying to look at it ground on the inside but I think that would have had a cork that is a nice little bottle yeah definitely going to keep that one a little bottle there oh busted that's a busted one we've seen seen dozens of those ones haven't we right anyway I'm trying to look beyond the bottles if I can but that one just sorry that one just caught my eye I'm just not used to the sun. <laughs> I'm so used to it being just cloudy and overcast. Right, there you go. Beautiful little gem. Oh, just putting that in my, that, what's it, bottle in my bag. I think I can see a pipe bowl up there, if I can get to it. If it's full. Oh, is it a pipe bowl? Oh, I don't know now. Now, now I've turned around this way. I don't know if it is. Oh, it is, it is, it is. Of course it is. You know what you're looking at. There you go. A pipe bowl. Oops, and there's Mick. Crushing all the gems under all that stuff. All that soil. <laughs> right, there you go. Pipe bowl. That's a keeper. There's a pipe heel. Look, oh gosh, it was rife with pipes around here. Absolutely rife. Yeah, I've got another pipe bowl. I know. Just, I, I know. We'll have to. We'll have to take a big, a big picture of all the pipe bowls. So that's amazing. That is a keeper. If I can get you in the sun, that's going in my bag. Hmm. What is that? That looks like a little. It is. It's a little body. Unfortunately, no head, but a body where well, you would have I've got arms and legs. So legs would have gone down there. Arms would have attached up there. Obviously, we know a body works. And a head. Oh, what a shame! She's lost her head, but it's still a nice little find. A little doll's body. That is a little keeper, a little gem. It looked like a stone, and then I touched it and I thought, oh, put your camera on. Put your camera on. That's a something. And there you go. It's a little little doll's body. Minus a head and arms and legs. Right, Mick says there's a bead up here somewhere, so I've got to try and find it. Over there. Oh, God, I've got to try and get up here, let alone find it. Oh, there's a slate pencil. Another slate pencil. Woo! Oh, gosh, how'd you get up here, Mick? Slate pencil, we'll have that. Kick your legs in. Uh, Kick him in. Kick him right. Don't move that bead. <sighs> Kick my feet in, okay. Oh. Is that a bead? No. Kick my feet in. Just let me hold you. Oh, oh god all right the end of the stick right <laughs> he obviously knows he won't be able to see it otherwise right let me kick my feet in oh lord lord uh, there we go oh Whew. there we go a little bead say hello to it now because I'll probably never see that again here you go a little white sorry a little white bead and slate pencil little gems there we go another slate pencil Oh, that's a long one. That's slate pencil number three. Goodness me. I don't know if I've ever found that many in one go. Just need a slate now to go with it. That was a whopper. Oh, is it? Uh, yeah, it looks like a pipe bowl from here. Let's have a look. Let's go and inspect. Of course, it's going to be a pipe bowl here. Oh, it's just, a, just the front. Oh, not even the front. Just a bit of one. Gosh, it just shows you. They're everywhere in here, aren't they? Pipe bowl, Pipe bowls. Right, let's keep looking. Right, that looks like a teeny tiny nail that's gone green. Oh, look at that. Teeny tiny nail that's gone green. There's no point in keeping that. I'll never find that again. And if that stabs me, I'll need a blooming tetanus jab. But there you go. I just spotted it in the in the dirt there. A little teeny tiny nail. I wonder what that held together. Well, you can see it's nail head there. A little green thing there. I wonder what that held together. I'm back here in two months and all these little things here will have grown, you know, and we will find it very, very difficult to get in. At least they're not nettles, but even so, I think these are things that grow very, very tall. You know, the things we have to pull out. Um, Himalayan balsam, I think that's Himalayan balsam, which uh, you pull out because it's very invasive. Oh, look, there's a pot. So there's a pot. Not that I need it. Let's bring it a bit closer. 
there you go nice pot no no lettuce but it's got a chip in it so we can leave it there there's a a crusty comb i've still got one i've not used so i won't, won't bother taking that one right i'm just going to go up there where mick went where he found loads of stuff just in case um, his footsteps have unre unveiled something or he's missed something which i doubt he's got his got his eagle eye glasses on today oh right i've walked over a little bit further than mick did so maybe i'll find something what's that nothing oh oh what a killer oh but who do oh my goodness me that is virtually full look at that oh i haven't got my bag with me either right oxo okay sauce another sort of sauce bottle but look at that virtually full virtually full but it didn't come down this way because it was right next to the edge of the the hill so he probably thought better of it but i spotted this hole down here there might be holes further down there as well actually but i'm not going to go over there today i think we've got enough to be going on with oh things here let's have a look what sort of condition they're in <clears throat> oh busted busted but beautiful colors beautiful color ink wow i'm so glad that the diggers that have been here don't like um pipe bowls gosh so pleased with that now i've got to check the slates because i found what three or four slate pencils right okay we've got that one though don't think i can see anything else here to be honest a few bottles on the top what's that a bead no way no way look at that oh my god that is a dobber wow that is a dobber red bead just when i said i don't think there's anything here oh gosh i should say that more often right that's going in my pocket i'll just have to hold on to this because my bag, i don't even know where my bag is now it's way over there somewhere i don't know right look at that dobber red bead it looks like a sweetie doesn't it looks like a big red sweetie just go back up the hill and that does look like a pipe bowl over here the path i went up this i came down this path and on the way up i thought i'll oh, just glance over oh my gosh it is it's another one it's another one oh my word I, this, this is a record this is a record I mean, we have found loads like i said we've found loads here before and what well, I'm, I'm talking to you but i'm looking down that slope as well because although i probably can't get to it i might i would get a stick on it right i don't need to i'm not desperate am i not desperate to try and kill myself right i've got to get back up this slope now so there you go another pipe bowl i don't even know what number that is 10 12 something like that oh look at that oh that'd have been a little beauty a little tea set cup what's that oh that's like a vinegar on an oil oil jug maybe maybe but oh yeah that'd have been a nice little it's got a little blue blue and white pattern on it right, i'm just coming up to this bit now see if we can find any gems in here i'm going to say probably not which means then something will pop out and i'll come back and show you but yeah just gonna have a look on here and see what appears if anything well, i found this here i don't have any coin or what i'll keep the coin keep it anyway just in case it is i'll let's say i have to get in a bag we'll check it later on but it could be a coin Keep it anyway. In, in there is another pipe bowl. Is it? It's just a pipe bowl, and it's uh, nothing that side, but it will have heart on that side. I'd, I'd say probably a Valentine's Day one, maybe. I'll we'll keep it here. Let's uh, do what you want to do with it. Oh, look, it's like another pipe bowl here. <clears throat> you know what? One day you don't find any, the next day, in fact, look. We've got over here more pipe bowls one two three four and a little doggy we'd like to find a doggy every now and then so we'll have that um sarah's not finding a hell of a lot i don't think she is anyway you know let's take these over to her that thing there what's that i don't know about that i'll show her that anyway we'll take these pipe bowls one one two three four pipe bowls hands left get me stick okay i can see some i can see a ring over there i'm not quite sure what that ring is there i don't know if you can see it right i don't know where it is on the camera some i don't know somewhere around there can't tell can't tell but over here i've seen something that looks suspiciously like a marble that to me looks like a marble let's have a look oh and it is 
So we get some of the caca. It looks like a milk glass marble with an orange swirl. That is a super little gem. Ooh, you know what? Recently, by being a bit slower and not really caring about the bottles, I found some really, really nice things. Some lots of gems. Pipe bowl today. That bead, that bead was massive, wasn't it? They've just got a couple. We've got a clay marble. We've got a orange and white marble. Um, two cod marbles slate pencils wow it's just like loads of little bits and that's that's perfect for my house because i can just put them on the shelf in in jars and things rather than all over the place so yeah come on let's keep looking i'm going to see what that's what i want to see i want to see what that circle thing was there that caught my eye probably nothing but oh it's metal oh i could use that for craft though a rusty circle thing definitely could use that on some sort of craft Crafty pieces, I'm allowed. That's a little keeper. And my hands are getting very full. I need to get to my bag very, very soon. That's a little bottle there. I just wonder if it's got embossing on it. Sometimes these have embossing on. That one hasn't. But then I saw a little metal thing down here. What's this? Oh, it's busted. Oh, it's a light. I thought it was like a little metal doodad thing, but it's actually a light bulb. Okay, so that's nothing. Won't bother with that bottle. It's nice. Nice little bottle, I'll show you. But no embossing on it, so I don't need to keep that one. Right, I've not moved it, and it might even be a light bulb, but to me, that down here looks like one of those feeding baby killer bottles stoppers, and it is. Oh, a bit, little bit busted on that side. Not to worry, I do like that. I like the history behind it. The fact that they couldn't, the tube came out of there. I've said it before, I'll say it again, just in case you knew. So that went onto the baby's bottle, screwed on, and through that hole went a rubber tube. The rubber tube came up, I'm not sure how long, probably 12 inches or so, something like that. It had a bone washer on it, which I found quite a few of, and then it had a teat on it. But because the washing of the rubber hose, you know, you couldn't really wash it very well, so bacteria built up, and that ended up killing lots and lots of babies. So, uh, although it's got a horrible history, I will keep that, even though it's a little bit busted, because it has got that little bit of history about it. Ooh, but then again, I think that's a marble. Just turned off, just turned round, little red clay marble. This, I mean, hands are getting absolutely chocker. But I could probably put that bead in my pocket, to be honest. And that marble is still in, in the bottom of there. Bottom of that bike bowl. Oh, goodness me. Right, okay, another quick look. I am actually walking past lots and lots of bottles. I just don't show them if I can help it because we've got other things to be looking at. But yeah, there is, there is still tons of bottles around here. Ooh, right, Mick's got some more pipe bowls as well, right? I haven't finished up here, but I'll go over to where he is and see what he's got. I'll show him what I've got in my hand. <laughs> oh, a coin, right? Oh, my gosh, Mick. Right, I'm going to let me put my little goodies there. Oh, right, right. Oh, yeah, that feels like a coin. Yeah. Yep. These were in a pile over there, most of them. I found a couple of them, but a lot of them were pile. Right. Oh, yeah, I found one of those before on Snowy Dump. Yeah. Yeah. All oh, right. Lots of pipe. What's that pipe there? This one here. No, that one. All yeah. oh, right. Yeah, big chunky one. On but one, look at that one, Mick. Sure. That's nice. Yeah. Yeah. Plenty of pipe bowls or something. Ah, oh, honest to gosh, there's just so many. I need all those putting in my bag, though, really, along with these. So that's the next job before I carry on up here. You need to get all. Oh, look, there's a heart one. Yeah. Oh, you'll have seen it on Mick's video anyway. Oh, look at that. What's that? Oh, I, I like that yeah. metal. Metal. Finial, that's nice, I like it, I like it. Right, let's get all these into my bag okay. before we lose them. Oh, I was just gonna look at these bottles, but <laughs> next to the metal is another chunky pipe bowl. There you go, I hadn't actually seen that. I was literally just coming to show you that there is still lots of bottles here. <laughs> ah, well, there you go, who needs bottles when you've got all these pipe bowls? There you go, oh, that, is a, that is a whopper and a chunky one that went a bit smaller there. You see the smaller stem bit has broken off. That's just like the um, terracotta one that Mick showed me before. Oh my gosh, I wish I had the strength of 10 men. Because if I had the strength of 10 men, I would absolutely definitely take that for my allotment. <laughs> oh my gosh, I need a pulley and a winch. Oh, that, I'd never get that home. What a pity. That's going to have to stay there. Another little stone thing. Oh, there's a tiddler. There's a tiddler of a pot. Oh, did you, did you, did you, did you get it? oh my gosh, it's climbing under trees. Oh, that is a tiddler. 
Has it got any chips? Oh, it hasn't. I do. Oh, it's only a small one now. Should I clean? No, should I do? Oh, it's only a small one. I'm just going to walk around with it for a bit, saying it's only a small one, and see what happens. Gosh, it's so this, the holes have gone even further than normal. It mixed still behind me. Look, look at all these bottles on here. Look, I think this is a, probably a bit newer up this end. A little bit newer. That's not to say you wouldn't find the pipe bowls here because, you know, things get flung about and things get thrown out late. But, oh, that's very claggy there. Very claggy. Bottles. What's that red one there? That might just be the contents. That's probably just the contents of that jar there that's making it red. Um, like I say, this is a little bit newer here. This is, what would you say, 40s for this sort of stuff. Oops, let me just try and get up. Just make sure that it's red. Yeah, it's red contents in that, isn't it? A clear bottle with red contents. Yeah, these are a bit, just a bit modern. So try and look through them onto the spoil to see if there's anything. What's that? A bit of broken black glass. And what was that? A little tiny bit of tile. Right, no, I don't think there's anything in this section for me. I know that's probably famous last words, but this bit is just a little bit later. A little bit. What's it? Is it later? Is it earlier? What is it? It's, it's not 1920s. It's going to say 1930s, 1940s, probably. 30s. Late 30s. Right, because I'm not an expert, but I'm still walking around with this, wondering what to do. What should I do with it? It's only little. Oh, quick, say in the comments down below, what should I do with it? Oh, look at that ink. There's a nice little stubby inks. I've got 10 million of them, so I don't need that one. <clears throat> Cod bottles, I keep rattling them. Just in case you've still got the marbles in them. But what a lovely selection of bottles you've got there. Oh, look at that one. <clears throat> one second, let me just go around to it. Uh, tablespoons, usual. That's an ink one. But that one, oh it's busted anyway. Got like a little salt cellar or something, but that's a quite a nice one that isn't it? Quite a nice little one. Yep, keep picking that up. Just in case. Right, bottles. Nothing except this hole's got a bit bigger since last time we were in here. Have found lead stuff at this bit actually, so keep our eyes peeled, I think. Never say never. Oh look, 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 look. That's a even smaller one. That won't be full, will it? Oh, good, it is. It is full. Right, I tell you what, I'm going to keep that one instead of the other one. I'm going to keep that little one because that's a dinky tiny one. Here's some wire. Don't need to think it's wrapped on, but wire. Let's have to see. Hmm. Oh, not too shabby. Not, uh, bit, too brittle. Bit thin, that bit thin otherwise we would have kept it but you little pot I'm going to keep you instead of the other one all right let's just downsize it a bit and go for this size the little tiny one and it's full no chips or dinks otherwise I wouldn't bother keeping it is that a vial oh it's a bit melted look at that melted just on the edge there don't need that one but it's got a little lip on it as well how weird there you go vial but I'm not keeping you dinky pot I am keeping you Ooh, is that an amber vial or is it just coloured? Oh no, it's just coloured. Whatever's in it was red. Whatever in it was red, it's not a coloured one, but I'll keep it anyway. It's only little. I'll find a place for it with all the other ones, I'm sure. Right, that's going in there. I should carry on looking. Oh, there's an ink. Another stubby ink. Just show you because not everybody has been here a while. Some people are new, and that's a little stubby, chunky ink. Oh, has that little square bottle got a cork in it by any chance? Oh, and I do believe it. What else does it have in it? It's got. Oh my gosh, look at that. The tablets are still in it. Oh, look at those. Oh, wow. Cork's in it and the tablets are in it. The tablets are black. I wonder if they're iron tablets. Oh, wow, what's it on the bottom? Hmm, fit. No, wit. De wit. De wit but look at that the tablets are still there and they're not all joined together but the black they're all like little balls can you see oh my goodness me 
oh that i'll wash that but i'll never take that cork out of there i'll just leave it as is that is a super fine i have found a bottle with tablets in before uh gosh a long time ago it was a lot bigger than that it wasn't quite as nice it wasn't half as nice actually but that i do like that with the tablets in look can you see i know this camera's not the best but i think you can see it moving about there oh dewitt i've had that bottle before i can't think what they did i'm going to guess at iron tablets just because they're black just because they've gone black right that's a super find a bottle full of pills about 100 years old oh just walking back from an uneventful walk down there and that was like a doll's lip cheek and eyelashes oh oh what a shame that's all there is i say it every time oh but there you go lip eyelashes cheek I can go with all the other pieces I've got and that will definitely be used in some sort of macabre doll's face Frankenstein piece. Looking forward to doing that. Oh, that was like another red bead there. Same as the first one actually, but several hundred feet away. There you go. Another red one. Little red bead. Nothing exciting in that. I think they're just plastic. just saw a corner of something white and I kicked it out I don't know what it is I haven't actually picked it up I've merely just moved it with my foot so I like to bring you with me just in case it's a something oh it's a doorknob <laughs> a door I'm gonna say door because it's got that square thing there it's a little doorknob I like that I like that round one usually they're a little they're not round the squat aren't they sort of a, a squat circle so yeah I'm gonna keep that that is a doorknob just that little tiny bit chipped off there but apart from that it's a lovely little find. I wonder what I could use that for. It's a little, I'm going to say it's heavy, but it's probably full of soil. That's a lovely ceramic. Let's see if it's got any crackle on it. One sec. Nope, not much crackle, if any at all. That is a nice little find. Looks like a marble, but it might be a top or something. I don't know. Um, I've only got a clue. It's very heavy anyway, whatever it is. We'll find out. You see it. You see it in the light. Got something like broken off the bottom, so it might just be a top or something. Anyway, keep it. Hmm. Up here, that looks like a statue, doesn't it? An upturned statue. There. No, we've got the wrong place. Can't tell. Here, there, there. That looks like an upturned statue, so let's. Oh, that's a little tiny bottle. Let's get that on the way. You've got to watch where you put your feet on, so. Long pipe stem. Oh, it's the end. Might keep that for those pipe bowls we've just got. Cause it's the end one but look at that super tiny little bottle there oh it's dinked oh what a shame Stop. what is it oh look. oh wow mick that's a dobber all right let's have a look let's see what's on here what have we got here that mick's left for us before we go back down there to get that thing oh it is a marble it's a big i've got a very similar one different type of swirls that i got from yorkshire that's nice and then a counter. A counter, is it? Oh, yeah, it's like a... Um, oh, sorry, drafts. Checkers, you would call it, maybe. But we would call it drafts here. A draft, a wooden drafts counter. A lovely white clay, white and blue clay swirly marble. Those are definite little gems, right? We'll keep those and we'll go back down and see if that um, figure is full or not. Not that I want to keep it, because I probably don't have the room. Right, let's continue. Let's go back down here. Looking as we go, because we did see that bottle, didn't we? Although it was a bit, little bit broken. Right, little jars, let's see. Let's see what this is. Oh, it's probably headless, whatever it is. Oh, it is. <laughs> headless, headless girl. I wouldn't have kept it anyway, but uh, yeah, nice to see what it was. I thought it caught my eye from up there, but it's a headless, headless girl in a, in a dress. There you go. Like a spoon or something there, I think, is it? Yeah, a spoon. Better take it. Uh, just in case. Sarah decides she wants to keep it. Yeah. An old decapitated spoon. Yeah, you can go over a place like several times, different directions. And different people like I'll go over something and Mick will go over something and we'll both find different things that the other person hasn't seen it's, it's amazing or you see something that you didn't see on the first time you went past it's 
it's weird, it's weird. It's, the floor is so busy. I think the first pass, it's hard to look past all the bottles and things. Then the second time you go, you then can ignore the bottles and then look through it and see what's on the ground. But yeah, at the minute, this bit here, it's very bottly. Very bottly and very hard to see through them. Ooh, right, there you go. A little spoon that Mick's found, a crusty one as per usual. A nice little one. Oops. That is definitely a keeper though. A very heavily patinaed little teaspoon. Ooh, sorry about that. I've cut off mid sentence about this tooth because we had two lovely people, Becky and Corey, were talking to us. They were there for a lark. But yeah, I think that is a human tooth. What do you think? I think that's a front tooth, not front tooth. Your um, okay, mm, your fang, <laughs> your fang tooth. I think it's only small, big root, small. I think that's human. What do you think? So yeah, sorry, sorry about that. But we got talking to a lovely mother and daughter there, Beckett and Corey, Corey, sorry. So right, there you go. I think that's a human tooth. I'm going to keep it because it's human. I think. And if I find out his dog, it's going in the bin. I think I found another lens. This one looks like it's full this time. It is a super little fine little lens. I don't think it's off glasses, that one. I think that's probably for a watch or a little picture or something like that. But it's definitely a keeper, a lens or a glass, not lens, whatever, a glass cover. Oh, jam pot, not going to keep it, but, you know, oh, it's got stuff in it as well, hasn't it? It's like, ooh, like a cre ooh, like lard. It feels like lard or something waxy. That's full. I don't fancy cleaning that out. It'll ruin all my brushes, but I'm not going to keep it anyway. Is that a mul Is that a malted? Horlicks malted, is it? Horlicks, yep, the Horlicks malted. What's the one? Embossed one. Nice, but, you know, it's still got it. You could leave it in, I suppose, but manky. It's got its manky dripping in or whatever it is. Not going to keep it. I won't keep it anyway, though, because I am being good, even though I've got that little one. Right, that looks like an upturned collar stud. We've seen it before, haven't we? Let's see if it's a full one. Oh no, it's not, it's just the end this time. Just the end of a collar, unless it's a bead. Oh no, it's a collar stud. It's ceramic. A ceramic one as well. But yeah, that's a little nothing. I don't know what that yellow thing is. It looks like the end of a pipe stem, but it's yellow. What is that? Isn't that? That's glass. But it looks like the end, I don't know what that could have been. Is that glass? That is glass. Does it look like the end of a pipe stem? Your mouthpiece there. But it's not a pipe stem, but what is it? What the devil's that? Doesn't that look like a pipe stem, Mick? That doesn't look like the... But it's glass. Yeah, it's glass. It's it a massive hole. It's not even like it's a thin hole. That's weird. No idea what that... I'm not going to keep it. No idea what that is. But it's caught my eye. It does look like a mouthpiece. Unless it was a decorative glass bowl. No idea. That's a mystery. I might keep it just so we can try and figure out what that is on the live actually. Live on Sunday, half eight. Let's see if we can figure out what this is or was. Right, I think we could call it a day. Yep. It's been a very exciting day. Super awesome. As it's been raining, it's been quite good. Oh, it's been sunny. Really good. Yep. So, uh, it's been great fun. Some lovely little finds there, plenty of pipes. Oh, loads. And um, that's it. Yeah, so lots we're of We're going to carry on having a little round, look around this bit around here, see if there's any more holes. So say goodbye to you guys. We'll see you all again real soon. We're live tomorrow if you're there. Uh, otherwise, next week, take care now. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.